I usually show you some best Android applications to help improve your smartphone usage. Well, this is a similar video. This time, I'm going to show you some Android tips and tricks which will also help enhance your smartphone usage and will put you on top of an average user. And I'm still going to leave you with some useful Android applications, so stay tuned for that. You do realize how ad-free this web page is. I strongly believe all these empty spaces are spaces for advertisements, but because of one setting I made, I enjoy an ad-free browsing experience. So if you also want to remove ads from browsers or even from applications filled with ads, then go to settings, in your network settings, find more connections, and then find private DNS and then switch to private DNS provider hostname, and then enter dns.adguard.com and save it. Now watch when I toggle it off, you can see how this site has ads all over. So try this setting and enjoy an ad-free browsing experience in your smartphone. Whenever you find yourself in a dark space and even the lowest of brightness still seems too bright, you can use this setting called Extra Dim to create an extra low brightness level to help you stay in your dark space. And to access this, just go to your phone's accessibility settings and find Extra Dim and turn it on. This Extra Dim setting is also adjustable and you can even toggle on the shortcut which will allow long pressing both the up and down volume keys to turn on this feature quickly. Some of you might know this next one already, but for those of you who do not, you know whenever you connect your phone to your computer with USB cable, you have to allow or choose the specific configuration to file transfer before you can transfer a file. Well, this tip will create a default USB configuration. Just go to your developer settings, find default USB configuration and choose file transfer. This way, the configuration will be set to file transfer by default whenever you connect your phone to your computer with cable no need to allow it first. Whenever you dismiss your notifications and realize you missed an important one, don't worry. Just go to your phone's notification settings and once your notification history is toggled on, you can have access to all your recent notifications and even for the last 24 hours. And you can open previous notifications by just tapping on it. Still on notifications, you know most applications you install immediately ask you to allow notifications well, you can go ahead and allow it if you think it's necessary. However, you can enter your notification manager to find all the applications you've allowed notification access and choose to maintain some of them or toggle some of them off if you really do not use those applications. And speaking of not using applications, you can archive applications you've installed on your phone but do not really use when you're running out of storage space. And this might also improve security since some applications even not in use still collect data. Who knows? So you can do this by going to Google Play Store settings, general settings, and then toggle on automatically archive applications. So whenever you're running out of storage space, this setting begins to work. Whenever I'm typing, there are some shortcuts I use which help me type faster. For example, when I type H-A-Y, I get the text suggestion of how are you, so I tap on it and I continue. Or W-Y-D and what are you doing get suggested. Or even double Y and the link to my YouTube channel comes up. There are several shortcuts I use when I'm typing. You can also do this by finding the dictionary settings in your preferred keyboard. So if you use Gboard like me, then go to dictionary, personal dictionary and then add as many as you want. Shortcuts to my contacts number and email is also added. Best part, you can export these shortcuts to another phone. So if you have two phones, you can have the same Gboard typing shortcuts. And still on shortcuts, in Chrome, you can edit the plus sign beside the address bar, which by default is used to open a new tab. Go to Chrome settings, toolbar shortcuts, and there you will find other shortcuts that can replace the plus sign, including voice search, Google Translate, adding page to bookmark, and also page sharing. And a quick way to access these other shortcuts is by long pressing on the symbol. Switching to some useful applications, I use an app called AutoDND to put my phone in automatic do not disturb mode whenever I open certain applications. So for example, when I open my video player application to watch a movie or a show, or when I open any document reader application to read a book, or even when I open a podcast application, the phone automatically enters do not disturb mode to allow me to focus. Another popular application which makes good use of your phone's notch is called Action Notch. With this application, you can tap once on your phone's notch to turn on flashlight, double tap to take a screenshot, or even long press to pause or continue any video or audio you are currently playing on your phone. And you do not need any advanced permissions or ADB commands to make this work. 
just install and allow the necessary permissions and it works smoothly in the background. And also another popular one is this application called Volume, which uses your phone's volume up and down buttons to skip tracks. So whether you have your phone in your pocket or it's lying somewhere while you sleep somewhere, you do not need to unlock your phone to skip a track. Just long press the volume up button to skip a track to the next one or the down button to play the previous track. And so those were some interesting settings and useful applications to elevate your Android user status to a higher level than average. So let me know other tips and tricks you always use. And if you also use some of these already, I mean it's 2024, you should know some of these by now. Anyways, leave a like on the video if you liked it. Also consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed the video. And as always, thank you for watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah.